we have uh, another management joining us who is surprised with uh, a fairly steady set of numbers. My reference is uh, to Andhra Bank and uh, uh, the uh, Chairman and Managing Director, Mr. Rajendran, is with us. Uh, uh, Mr. Rajendran, just to reiterate on the numbers, it was a 44% jump in NII in the fourth quarter and profits uh, more than doubled to 185 crores. Uh, uh, let me start with asset quality since that is becoming key for banks. Uh, uh, how come you man can you first tell us what were the fresh slippages you generated in the fourth quarter? How did that compare with the third quarter? Fourth quarter slippages I'll give you a little. Totally the entire year we are slip the 3,400 crores is a slippage. Mm. But 2,400 crores is a recovery and upgradation. Okay. As a result, the 1,000 crores is a net slippage for the entire year. Okay. Last year it was only 2,400 crores slippage and 600 crores of a recovery. Mm -hmm. So 1,800 crores was a net slippage last year. Okay. This year net slippage is contained at only 1,000 uh, crores. Okay. And the recovery was only, cash recovery was only 300 crores last year. Mm -hmm. This year cash recovery is 1,300 crores. Okay. That is the reason why the NPS... No, I take your point that your recoveries have been very strong, but I just wanted to know about the fresh slippages, especially in the fourth quarter, to get an idea whether the pain is over for the system or pain is increasing. So I would want your fresh slippages in Q4 and in Q3 as well as your fresh restructured assets in Q4 and in Q3. Fresh slippages in the fourth quarter, Lord Jamie. I'll get your number. Okay. And as far as the <coughs> restructuring is concerned, the first three, first three quarters we are restructured about 2,000 crores of uh, accounts as restructured. Mm. Last quarter alone, we are restructured 3,000 quarters. 3,000 crores has uh, restructured during the last quarter. Ooh. So, in spite of that restructuring and the provisioning only, these results were produced. Okay. And, uh, we were so, now your total restructured assets is 5,000 crore. Now, total restructured assets is around 11,000 crores. Okay. It is 11% of my assets portfolio. Okay. It was always. Okay. For the past so many quarters, it was around 10,000 and odd crores. Now it is around slightly moved up 11,000 crores. Okay. How much of the restructured assets slipped into NPL? Uh, during the entire year, it was about 1,700 crores are slipped into NPA. Mm. And 391 crores is upgraded. Okay. And 278 crores is recovered in this portfolio. Okay. Of the, of the restructured assets? Of the restructured assets. Okay. Can you give us some more color on uh, uh, the restructured assets? Which sector did they come from? That is 3,000 crores only in the fourth quarter. Half of it came only from the power sector. Okay. The projects which are under implementation and uh, the coal problem under the gas supply problem. We got this is repayment postponed and additional funding is also done in these cases. And uh, remaining came from iron and steel sector and other industries. Okay. Uh, and substantial amount came from, NPA substantial came from agriculture also. Okay. What is the total uh, uh, bad loans in the agricultural sector in the fourth quarter and how much was it in the previous quarter? Fourth quarter it has come down. Mm. Previous quarter it was about 1,700 crores. Mm. Fourth quarter it has become 1,400 crores because of the recoveries. Okay. It is uh, It was 8% at beginning and it has become 5% at this point of time. Okay. How much is the, uh, uh, you know, restructuring pipeline? Hereafter, if you restructure, you still have to provide, uh, you know, like an NPL. Right. You cannot have a restructured standard. Right. So, uh, can you see a pipeline or uh, is there still some leftovers from the previous quarter? I don't think, except one or two promoters who are very confident about the projects and think that they can come out of the stress situation or not opted for the restructuring. Everybody else, even though they were not needing, they have jumped into the restructuring bandwagon and got the benefit. So I don't think there is anything in the pipeline mm. and we may not do any restructuring in the future. Okay. On the other hand, one surprising trend which I am seeing now is that the contractors who are having uh, restructured status are not able to get further support from the government, from the banks for getting further bank guarantees and the limits mm. to take the new contracts. Mm. A new contracts available in plenty, NHA is having a lot of contracts. Mm. So a lot of these uh, contractors are coming back to us, asking for us the solution to come out of the CDR now. So many people are trying to come out of the CDR. They have some constraints. Mm. During the next quarters, I may expect another three, four major contractors around the will come out of uh, the research status to get further bank support. 
If that happens, a restructured portfolio can come down substantially. Okay, so they will come. They will have to bring in promoters' equity to get that uh, to get out of the restructured yeah, status. What what will be the requirements? That's right. That's right. Uh, no, each one has different requirements. Mm -hmm. There are people who are discussing with overseas investors to bring in substantial money. Mm -hmm. PE investors are waiting and negotiations are going on. At least I know two, three cases mm -hmm. where PE uh, deal sheet is signed and mm -hmm. money is likely to come shortly. Mm -hmm. And these people may come out of the restructuring in the next two quarters. Have, we, have your staff been able to give you the fourth quarter slippages and uh, uh, the fourth quarter uh, restructured assets that slipped into NPL because uh, I just want to know the trend sir are you still generating fresh pain or is the amount of fresh slippages falling yeah 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 I understand 769 is the total slippage in the fourth quarter mm. it was 904 in the previous quarter 980 in the quarter 2 okay. 2180 in the quarter 1 Okay. okay. It is coming down substantially from 2160 to 980 to 904 to 768. Okay. Well, can you say that of the restructured assets also, the uh, incremental amount going into NPL is rising or falling? It is falling. Okay. Earlier we used to have about 500 crores the restructure happening every quarter. Okay. It has come down to 300 crores during the current quarter. Okay. That's and out said, of yeah. the restructured accounts, yeah. that one moment, 11,000 crores of restructured accounts, mm. 4,000 crores of restructured accounts have started repayment already. Okay. okay. They are all completed the moratorium period, started okay. repayment, servicing as per the restructured uh, terms. Mm. And out of after one year, they may come out of restructuring status also. Okay. Now, that's positive, sir. Uh, uh, restructured assets that have come out of moratorium, how many of them slipped, would you be able to remember? That's what I'm telling. 4,000 crores is what have is that. started uh, repaying. 4,000 yes. crores has started the period, out of which only 600 crores have slipped, oh. remaining 3,400 crores is servicing the loan. Fair enough. Uh, I just w now wanted to shift focus to growth. What have been the um, uh, the credit growth in the uh, fourth quarter vis-a-vis -vis year ago and vis-a-vis -vis previous quarter? Credit growth has been good during the current quarter. The year end numbers may not be an indicative number. I don't want to quote it as a right number because it has some kind of bulge in the year end because of the adjustments which happen in that segment. Mm. The overall credit growth was 17.1%. Mm -hmm. It was around 15% during the last quarter. Okay. So it is increasing. Okay. And uh, the, most of the growth has come only from the retail segment and the mid corporate. Okay. Agriculture has not grown during the last year because Andhra we were not able to lend further as the okay. loan waiver is not completed. Agriculture has grown negatively. Mm. In spite of that, we were able to grow at 17.1% with more focus on the retail advances and small corporates. That is a good trend in that advance. Okay. And now if you can tell us about your margins, what did you do in fourth quarter? How did it compare? In the entire year, the interest income has gone up by 14.5%. Yes. So for the quarter also, it has gone up by 14.5%. Mm. Whereas interest expenses have increased only by 4.3%. Okay. We have contained the cost so well. Mm. 33 basis point is the reduction in the cost of deposit during the fourth quarter alone. Okay. And 67 basis point is the increase in the yield on advances during the fourth quarter. Okay. Both these things have increased our net interest margin to 3.48%. Oh. In fact, last quarter after the results when I talked to you, I mm. told you that 3.43 may not be sustained. Mm. We may be in a position to sustain 3%. On a whole year basis, we have sustained the 3%. On a quarter basis, we have increased to 3.48. Can you maintain 3.48? The indications are that now for the next two quarters, I think it should be possible mm. because these recoveries are resulting in a lot of uh, re uh, you know, additional interest being uh, returned back mm. to the profits. And the agriculture advances when it is recovered, two years of interest we have written off in the past. That okay. will be recovered. So this will result in more recovered interest. But on a sustainable basis, the bank will target only 3% as an net interest margin. Okay. And finally, your capital. What is your uh, 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 grade 1, cap tier 1 capital? What is the CET capital? And what capital plans do you have? 7.99 is a tier 1 capital. Mm. Total capital is 10.63%. Mm. We got about 120 crores as a capital from the government during the last year. Mm. Government holding in the bank is around 61% today. Mm. And our book value is 163. Mm. During the current year, we have increased our book value very substantially by plowing back the profits. Mm. But our market price is hovering around 90 rupees only. Mm. Until our market price is at least equal to the book value, we may not dilute our stake in the company. We may not go for any public issues. During the next two quarters, we may raise substantial amount of Tier 1 and Tier 2 bonds. Last year, we raised a Tier 1 bond at 9.55%, which is a good rate. 
And going forward, if the rates are coming to 9%, mm -hmm. tier 1 bonds will be raised. If the rates are coming to 8%, tier 2 bonds will be raised. About 3,000 crores we may raise during the next year, during the current year, which will help us to maintain a capital adequacy of more than 11%. Mm -hmm. And we are expecting recovery on a large scale during the current year also. That will help us to maintain better capital adequacy. Okay, but you have board permission for a QIP or for other capital raising? We have taken permission, permission for everything, every capital instrument. Okay. But uh, depending upon the market conditions, we will take a call on that. All right, sir. We'll leave it at that. Uh, pleasure speaking with you, Mr. Rajendran. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Lata. Well, it is quite clearly a good set of numbers. Uh, even the NPL's uh, uh, incremental slippages have quite clearly fallen. Yes, restructured assets would be a point of pain, mm -hmm. but uh, the indication seems to be that not too much is slipping into NPL. Uh, 4,000 crores have started repayment after the moratorium period. That's good news. So, Andhra Bank, even after getting all the details, the stock has not given up its gains in a bad market. So, that must be something.